Oh, it's recording. Hello. Hello. What's up, you guys? Welcome to the first episode of Too Tough to Cry. We've decided to give you guys early access on YouTube for our first episode, which is in two parts. The second part will be coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow. But everything will be uploaded to Spotify starting next Thursday. Every Thursday. Every Thursday. <laughs> and we'll do... Oh, wait. Were you going to say something? No. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to do... So we'll be posting them on Spotify, yeah, starting next Thursday. And they'll come out on Spotify first. We still are figuring out Apple Music. And then we're going to post the visual one, or whatever the fuck it's called, on YouTube. On YouTube. So enjoy this episode. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. I guess I'm just too tough to cry. What's up, you little shits? <laughs> oh, starting off real yes, strong. What's up, you little shits? Welcome to the first, finally, Ooh. first episode of Too Tough to Cry podcast. Technically, it's the second episode. Well, way to air out our dirty laundry But here. only the first one you guys are going to get to see because we filmed a first one and it didn't work out. No, it did not. Well, in case you didn't know, my name is Shanley. I'm Jack. And we're Jackly over here. Jackly. That's, we're Jackie Shan. Jackie Shan, even though you didn't want to be calling Jackie. I know. Somebody somebody told us we should make our podcast name Jackie Shan, which is so clever, but I don't want to go by Jackie. It's okay. We're here now with Too Tough to Cry. Too Tough to Cry. And do you can you tell them why we've named it Too Tough to Cry? Not only did someone suggest this, which I'm so sorry, I don't know your name. Do I, you? I don't remember. I still don't remember. Whoever you were, you're an icon, you're a legend, you're the moment. And comment below. Thank you. Yeah. Please. Comment below. Thank you so much for suggesting that name because it took us months and months to even come up with something yeah. that would sit with us. But here we are. So do, too do tough explain. to cry. So basically the whole idea is we're not too tough to cry. Really. At the end of the day, we have our tough sides, AKA Shanley. Me, and then mostly. we have our weak, weak emotional sides, AKA me. No, but we both have it. Um, yeah. Basically it's just, it's a podcast where we're basically your older sisters. Yeah. We, I'm 31 years old, not to air out my own dirty laundry. Hey, I am old. Age is just a number. And look at you. You're aging like fine wine. Thank you. In case you guys are watching it, please comment below and tell me uh, that I'm aging like fine wine. Because <laughs> after you hit 30, it is really hard to accept that you're aging. Yeah, but you're not. You literally look like you're 19. So. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, we just want to be like your big sisters. So... There's going to be moments where we're talking about some tough things and emotions are going to be flying and that's totally fine. Just because you get emotional about something you're angry with does not take away your emotion or your anger or whatever. <laughs> I hate the whole thing of like, oh, if you start crying in a fight, you're losing. No, that just shows how in it I am, how emotionally invested I am. And that's why I'm so mad and upset. So... We want to give you all the scenarios that we've been through already. I know it's probably unsolicited advice or advice that you are looking for. Um, we both have been through quite a bit. I am speaking for myself. I've been through quite a lot. Uh, and I feel like I have a lot of advice, information, Absolutely. anything that I can give you to make you feel comfortable with where you're at in your life. We're here to do that. Yeah. We want to make you laugh. We want to make you cry. We want to make you cry, laugh. We want to make you think. <laughs> we want to make you angry with some of the things we say, yeah. too. We just, we really want to be your older sister. And you don't always love your older sisters. Okay, maybe that's not true. You always love them. You might not always like them. Yes. So we want to challenge you. And we want to just go on this journey together. Yeah, we want to challenge ourselves There's as gonna well. There's going to be a lot of tears. A lot of tears. I mean, I we... we First said that this wasn't going to be a drama podcast, which it's not. It's not. But yeah. I have so much shit that I want to talk and I am so excited that I have a platform to do it because oh, all these bitches are about to be drugged through the mud. Yeah, we were like, we don't want it to be a drama channel, even though we know that that's what sells. I'm dramatic anyway. So we like definitely, though, are excited to have a platform where it's more socially acceptable to talk about whatever's going on in your life, because I've never been a person that's going to hop on my Instagram or my TikTok and be like, well, this just happened to me and I need to talk about it. But I feel that's what podcasts were invented for. Yeah. No, it's definitely a platform to be able to speak your mind. Um, but I, I'm opposite of you. That's what yeah. makes this work is that she is very non-confrontational. I'm a very confrontational person. 
Although over the years I have settled myself a little bit. I think before I speak most of the time, which I will not be doing on this. No, don't filter at yourself. All, I will not filter myself. <laughs> Although uh, I, if you've been filtering yourself this whole time I've known you, I'm afraid for this podcast. I, I low-key have. I'm When I tell you that I have calmed myself down quite a bit, maybe seven years ago, you might have seen me. I was on a show. Oh, Let's just let's are you just the talk one about that right MTV's now. are you the one first season the first season the infamous Shanley yeah the OGs uh, I had quite the temper and by temper I mean I was punching out light bulbs breaking glass screaming <laughs> had five guys carry me out because I wanted to fight somebody now I can't speak <sighs> holy shit if if I was ever in a situation like that again maybe but like nowadays I'm more of a okay, I'm taking notes, I'm keeping tabs, yeah. and then I'll come at you. Which is actually way more terrifying. I know. Because you know, like it, it, if you do something that you know is wrong and you know is going to hurt someone's feelings, or after you do it and you're like, oh shit, that was wrong of me, if the person that you know you wronged doesn't immediately start yelling at you, you're like, oh no. Yeah. The storm is brewing and yeah. they're coming, and that's Shanley. She is, I am a storm. Yeah, you are. I, wow I never even like process that but I, yes I am a storm but you don't you really don't you can be reactive but for the most part you're very you're like the eye of the storm you take all the information you're like seeing everything and then boom you come through with a hurricane I I like to fly under the radar for most of the part time but like when I say I keep track of everything I know you're not gonna be able to see this but I'm gonna pull it up just to show I have proof <laughs> there is a folder right here on my phone that says evidence, evidence. all capitals and evidence. there are 85 pieces of and some of them 85. haven't been saved moved into this folder but there are 85 things in here that i'm holding against somebody and will continue to hold that until the podcast be. comes out that i'd like to talk about it yeah that will be a, a whole episode in itself but yeah so shanley is definitely the tough part of this duo she yeah doesn't take shit which is something I so admire because I've been a pushover my whole life and I still am and I know it but I'm trying to get better <laughs> but being around her and she's always the person I go to for advice about when I'm feeling slighted in a situation whether it's a friend or family member or whatever I always ask advice from her because she'll be like no, that's not fair. Like, you need to call them out. You need to tell them to do this. Whereas me giving myself advice, I'm like, oh, it'll blow over. It'll be okay. And it's the one thing that pisses me off about I'll her. Like, it's not, a, you're not even that upset. Meanwhile, I was just like hysterically crying about it for 45 minutes. Yeah, that's, that's legitimately everything that you do. It's I like, I, you talk, you talk, you talk, you argue, you argue, but you'll never do it to them. You always do it. You speak. Yeah. It's the same with my boyfriend. My boyfriend likes to speak to me like he's speaking to who he hates. Yep. And that I mean that in like the nicest way. Like he'll get so worked up that he'll be speaking to me like I'm that person, but not like, you know, like acting it out. Yeah. Like sometimes I'll act out in the shower. Oh, I always act out in the I shower. I for sure like play out scenes of how I want to approach something in the shower, but like Cam will do it to me. Yeah. Like just be like, and he'll get worked up, but he's not yelling at me, but he, I can be like, but yo, I, I'm not, I'm not them. I think that because I do that too with Scott, I'll, I'll just be sitting there and I will be like, and then if she tries to say this to me, I'm going to be like, blah, 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 blah. And I get so into do it. it. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> I'm getting the, all of that weight on my shoulders off onto him. And it's cause it's not, I'm not actually attacking him. I'm showing him what I would do in the situation but he knows you know everyone knows that when the time comes that is the opposite of what I'm gonna do in yeah. the situation <laughs> yeah I'm you know it's that's okay sometimes it's better to not do anything yeah. about something despite if I have like something to tell you like you should do it that's mostly me being like that's probably what I would do yeah but you know I don't know I just think it's a really good dynamic that we have because I I'm just always gonna I'm so afraid of confrontation like the thought of being confrontational upsets me and gives me more anxiety than actually what the person did that wronged me like and that's so stupid and it is something I'm trying to work on and that's why this podcast is here because yes. we're gonna grow yeah and we're growing we're going on this journey together we're here to help you guys you will see us we have things that we haven't even hashed out between yeah. each other. There is going to be so many issues and real things at hand that you guys will be witnessing with us. 
as well as learning from the things that have already happened and other issues. So I think this podcast is going to be really good for not only our souls, but people who are out there struggling with similar issues or problems. We're not going to be holding back. We're going to be talking about anything from our favorite foods or their favorite movies or what happened last week to like sexual assault to self-harm to, you know, uh, abuse, anything like that. Like we're covering all the bases because we've experienced all the bases. Yeah. At least one of us. Has I will never something. speak on something that I don't have personal experience on because I don't think that's fair um, or right, especially if it is on a more serious. Of course, I'll, maybe I'll give my opinions, but again, yeah. it depends on what we're talking about. We want everything. I just want this to be a safe space for us mm-hmm. and for you guys. I want you to come here and never feel stressed out listening to us or. You can disagree with us for sure because we're going to disagree with each other, but we never want this to turn into something that gives anxiety. It's supposed to be just like fun and happy. And yeah, like you said, talking about our favorite foods to talking about something, one of the most traumatic experiences in our lives. Yeah. It's it, but don't get us wrong. It's going to be very fun. You're going to enjoy our top priority is being the, comedians that we are well we're self-proclaimed comedians which I think is very valid and worth something in this world because a lot of people are self-proclaimed something well Olivia O'Brien tweeted the other day like I don't care to me I am the funniest person in the world nobody cracks me up like I can and I was like I relate to that I relate I every day will say something funny that I think is top tip top of the iceberg of funny things that I've ever said and I'll look at Cam and he's not my boyfriend and he's not laughing at me and I'm like why don't you think I'm funny because I am I'm hilarious like I'm literally the funniest person you are getting a free comedy show right now and we've been in a pandemic and you haven't been able to go to those so you're fucking welcome you are so welcome (laughs) but they don't appreciate it well okay so we kind of explained what the podcast is going to be about so yeah just and if you guys have any things that you want us to talk about, suggestions, suggestions we have all of our ads are too tough pod on. And then you everything. Us, Shanna the Panda. Yours is fucking long. Jacqueline, Jacqueline Noel. Jacqueline. Where, is it Jacqueline Noel? Yeah, it is. You need to change Good that luck shit. Good trying to spell that thing. It's, it's hard. My, my parents, they wanted to give me a C and a Q in her name. And an L-Y-N. And it's an L Y N E. They want it to be unique. And I was like, that's great. Every time I go to one of those stores and you get those cute little like license plate keychains. Never for me. Oh, that's fine. I never got one. At least you have things that are close to your name. I have nothing. Oh, I'm really complaining about having a pretty common name, just different spelling when her name is Shanley. Yeah. Have and you ever met a Shanley? Uh, no, but I've heard. Oh, you know, someone was with a Shanley. Uh, Christian was with a Shanley. Oh, really? Yeah. And he was, he made a joke. He's like, uh oh, putting two Shanleys against each other. I've met someone in real life with the last name Shanley. We were at a bar and that I just happened to sense. see his ID. But that was a long time ago. Other than that, no, my name's not anything special though. It's from a baby book. I think, I think in my most recent episode of Grey's Anatomy, I've been crushing Grey's Anatomy. Uh-huh. I think my most recent episode of Grey's Anatomy, Mr. Shanley, I think I'm pretty positive. I remember. I feel like there was. I think there probably is. There's a lot of Shanleys as a last name. I think there's like even a football player with my name as a last name. But, you know, everyone calls me Shanley. If they get it wrong, it's Stanley or Shonda, Shonda. Um, which is something that I can't wait to talk about. <laughs> but for those who can read and know how to read and are pretty good at assuming that Panda sounds like Panda and not Ponda, then you would know Shanda the Panda is my username on Instagram and every other thing, yeah. but that's neither here nor there. Do tell them a little bit about yourself. Cause we're just rambling. I know. <laughs> but also, by the way, this is going to be all over the place and that's just part the, of the first, charm. it's the first episode. They're all going to be all over the place. Yeah. I'm not going to make any promises. We're just going to write a couple things down that we want to hit. And then it's just going to be, we have ADHD, severe yeah. ADHD. We'll just Jesus take the wheel at that point. Yeah. Hopefully so. we'll, we'll, find our way home follow along as best as you can if not fast forward to the parts you want to listen to also who knows where, where those, those parts, parts are, are. Be, <laughs> so, who, um yeah so i'm jack if you don't know i'm from new york i moved out here and i've been pursuing just social media and acting uh i've always wanted to do a podcast but i was like i don't want to just do one by myself i feel i would just get so off track i want to know what I, i'd want to talk about blah blah blah, blah. and then i also thought that if I wanted to do it with a friend, 
I was like, oh, that can be kind of boring. You want there to be the dynamic of being pretty opposite. So then with Shanley, it's perfect because we are besties, but we also have a lot of different opinions on things. A lot. Um, so as she was kind of saying before, I am very non-confrontational. I'm a pushover. I'm a people pleaser. <laughs> My spirit animal is a golden retriever because I'm very friendly. I love making new friends. I love attention. Uh, I'm very Disney. I just, I would rather be taken advantage of, but I feel at peace because I don't have to yell at anyone rather than taken advantage of and me constantly being like, you don't respect me. You don't respect me. And I hear how toxic that is that for myself. Sound, I'm listening. I, my jaw is like, what are you fucking talking about? It's so First of all, do not t- specify by what you mean by taking advantage of. Not physically. Oh, no, not physically. Not physically. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Again, that is something that we will touch on later. But no, I'm just I just mean like in relationships with people like, again, maybe in boyfriend relationships but you'd rather be the person that's and nice and understanding yeah. and you want to go through the motions of that to keep that peace in your mind yeah. than be the confrontational person who's constantly butting heads with people i'm the type of person where if i do have to be confrontational because everyone has to at some points even though it's terrifying i will be par mentally and emotionally paralyzed for the rest of the day because all I will be thinking about is when I'm going to be confrontational, how I'm going to hold my ground. Um, and then after I do it, I, I've never been confrontational without sobbing. I, that's just, I'm a Pisces. I'm overly emotional. It's just how I am. So then the rest of the day, it's me trying to unwind myself and having flashbacks of was I too mean? Did you just burp? <laughs> I just did. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> it was an inappropriate, inappropriate time to burp, okay. but I'll I couldn't help it. Be burping up a storm too. But I'll have like flashbacks of even though I know I'm in the right, I will have flashbacks and be like, oh my god, that was too mean. That was too harsh. Why did I say that? Why did I do that? And most of the time, it's it's really not. But because I'm just so much of a baby, you. The thing is, though, you just have to learn how to balance. Like for me, as you know, I'm very confrontational. But like, even if I say something wrong or I overstep the boundaries as a confrontational person, you have to like be able to sit with yourself and be like, you know what? I fucked up. That was too far. Yeah. And then to be the bigger person, you go and apologize for those things. That's how I've, it doesn't matter how angry or how fucking shitty I am. If I know that I owe someone an apology for the things that I said that I didn't mean or meant at the time, but didn't actually mean, (laughs) um, I always will go out of my way. Like, yeah. it's not just me willy nilly, like, fuck you, fuck you. Like, I always have a reason to get upset, but I always will take my reason for being upset and reevaluate why and apologize if necessary, which is rare because I'm always right. <laughs> so, True. but that's what you just have to find that balance of like being able to confront a situation and then being able to pull yourself back assess what happened and be like okay you know I was in the right I'm proud for how I stood up for myself yeah. or oh I'm not proud of myself I'm gonna go out and you know apologize for the, some of the things I said yeah which that and I think if I look at it from that situation I sound like such an adult yeah you really do <laughs> that makes me feel more comfortable with being confrontational though because I just know myself that I always get really worked up so if in the moment I say something that I didn't mean to say or or if it came off too harsh it kind of makes me feel a little bit better about having to be confrontational because then I know there's the option to turn around and just be like hey listen I meant this and this but I am sorry for this yeah because I feel like at the end of the day once you get something off your chest like no matter what it is you won't be carrying that baggage yeah for there you go like you carried that baggage that with the recent thing for a while yeah. and you still are carrying it I know because I know. you haven't done anything and it's just like one of those things where you're just gonna have to get into the routine of being able to stand up for yourself and what you believe is right yeah and even if it's not right like you just have to differentiate between right and wrong and when you can put your foot in a situation or in your mouth like well the I think my this is the biggest like alarm that goes off in my brain when I think about how just how much of a people pleaser and pushover I am I was in high school and I was obsessed with this one boy and he liked me back, but we were super shy. So we just didn't, we kind of danced around it for a while, but I, I was in a group of like five or six best friends. They all knew that we were obsessed with one another, but we were taking it really slow. <laughs> and, um, one of the girls in my group of friends, 
she ended up dating someone in our school that the relationship, I don't know, it, it, the girl, her boyfriend's younger sister was our age and he was a senior. So it uh-huh. was just like a, the friend, our friend was really upset by it, whatever. That part really doesn't matter. Yeah. I was going to say, the, where are you going with that part? The, my friend was upset that I didn't defend her when the truth came out that that's who she was dating. Everybody stood up. Or they were upset because she was younger and he was older? They were upset because she was hiding behind our friend's back, whose sister, whose brother it was. Uh, okay. This is See, so confusing. Yeah, that confused the fuck out of me. But boy, man, she was upset with me that I didn't have her back when the, when the whole thing came out. I told her when she told me, I was like, listen, you do whatever makes you happy, but I'm not picking sides. If this information comes out that you're dating him, I'm not picking sides. I'm just going to be neutral. I'm going to be Switzerland. That's that. Information came out. I was neutral. I was not on our other friend's side. I was not on her side. I just was neutral. She was so pissed that I didn't really have her back that she ended up hooking up with that guy that I was like in love with. Not really uh. in love with him, but like that I really liked, that I was really taking it slow with. And she hooked up with him. Then I found out and I didn't do anything. I didn't say anything. I didn't do anything. All of my other best friends were ignoring her for me because they knew how much of a pushover I was. And they were like, this is fucked up. We're going to like, you got to be mad at her. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. Finally, she approaches me at my locker. And I remember there was like a crowd of people watching because everybody knew that I just hadn't said anything. She came up to me and she's like, why haven't you yelled at me? what I did was so shitty. Why have you not yelled at me? Like, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? Why are you yelling at me? All of our friends are ignoring me because they know what I did was fucked up and you're not doing anything. And I literally was just like, I just, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Cause I just, yeah, of course I was heartbroken, but I, I just didn't want to yell at her. And that was so ridiculous of me. I should have been like, bro, are you okay is, why would you do that to your friend is that the moment you realize you're a pushover or yeah. okay well that was the moment that i really realized because all my friends were like yeah of course she confronted you about you not yelling at her because you don't yell at anyone about anything my friends used to laugh at me because i barely cursed because i just like, <laughs> didn't get it i just didn't get you're it. disney mad it's just, legitimate but you know what there's some some scenes in disney movies that people confront each other. I know. Like you're so disney that you're not disney well you know what it is <laughs> i'm so disney when like entangled when Rapunzel uh confronts her mother she, it it she takes the shit takes the shit takes the shit and then finally she confronts her and it's a very emotional confrontation and that's how I am I just take it take it take it until I have to say something and then it's so emotional and then I totally overcompensate because then afterwards after I do get confrontational then I'm like okay well I'm sorry for being confrontational for you let's like be besties again that's stupid it's very stupid. much you and i'm not i'm not sitting here shitting on you but you should fucking figure that out no but that's what's great she's gonna you're gonna harness some of your bad bitch energy into me of course and i think if we're gonna go back on moment moments defining moments i've always been such a fucking bully <laughs> like there's no doubt about it i i've always been able to stand up for myself i've also pushed the boundaries with that stuff too where i was going out of my way to be a bully and this is something that we're going to talk about but oh wait pause really quickly yeah as i was saying i am a bully i was a bully um i think the most defining moment for me though was the acceptance of like oh maybe i'm not that mean girl and i transferred high schools and i had three friends at this high school who convinced me to transfer to this high school and we all played on the volleyball team and one night we had a little travel away game we all rode the bus and one of the girls who was supposedly my friend decided to have a sleepover afterwards and tell me that there was no room in her car for me and everyone else got to go and i was on the steps in high school so then since then i vowed to never ever 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 let anyone ever do that to me make you feel that way yeah so that's probably why i'm a little tougher than norm yeah um, you, you, some people are like i'm just gonna take it and some people are like i'm never gonna feel this way again yeah and you are definitely i'm never gonna feel this way again type yeah. of person. i mean don't get me wrong i've had my moments where i have let people walk all over me and felt small but i mean we're human of course just, you know but basically it's the what do you call it uh I can't even think of the fucking word. Evolution. The evolution. I don't know. Is that I, what I don't know if that's the word that I really wanted, but essentially this podcast is just us figuring out life and hopefully figuring it out with you guys too. Yeah. You know? I, didn't, I can't even believe we got so into that. I know. 
that was, that, a, was, that was all spiraling from who I am. Now, yeah. who are you? No, well, uh, my name is Shanley. <laughs> We're 30 minutes into this podcast, but uh, my name is Shanley. I'm 31 years old and I'm from Indiana, South Bend. Well, Mishawaka, but no one knows what Mishawaka is. South Bend, Indiana, where Notre Dame is. I'm not a Notre Dame fan, in case you guys were wondering. It's neither here nor there. Um, I moved out to Los Angeles. I've been out here for seven years. I didn't really have an idea of what I wanted to do. I just knew that I had too big of a personality to sit in South Bend um, or work a nine-to-five, which no, I'm not down or shitting on anyone for working nine-to-five. I just can't sit still and sit at a desk and not be creative or have someone tell me what to do. I have to do it in my own time. So I came out here. I'm currently... Pursuing a hosting career uh, was put a set or set aside because of the pandemic, but now here we are on a broadcast. We're hosting a podcast. Hell yeah! Um, yeah, and I just I work on social media as well. Yeah, I have two dogs, uh, two cats, two dogs which are getting fixed. One currently just had surgery to get his balls cut off today. Uh, I feel really bad. I probably will cry <laughs> when I go pick him up. Um, Dugan, my poor boy Dugan has had his balls for five years and. You know, we got a female puppy and she went into heat and Dugan went crazy. And so I was like, it's time. Time to get fixed. Now he's got no balls. You know, the vets fondle the balls. He, she was like, I got to, I got to touch his scrotum. Oh, everything. They, they feel pretty even. They oh. feel symmetrical. And I was like, okay. I'd be like, should I leave the room for this? This is yeah, my son. Really, really strange. But yeah, that's the gist. I have a wonderful boyfriend. Uh, we are we are both happily in relationships. in relationships but i do have a lot of information on other relationships that i've been in and also this one and what i've learned about myself yeah. and who i am as a person um everything's a learning lesson so we got plenty of lessons to talk about plenty so welcome to too tough to cry podcast yeah she's the tough i'm the cry but you also cry, I cry but i cry in like stupid things like all of uh ted lasso in uh, case you're not watching that, which she isn't, even though I've recommended it a thousand times. I don't times, have Apple TV. You can download it. Just fucking know, buy it. I it's know. so good. It's I, so good. I will live and die by Ted Lasso. He is my favorite character on any show, any movie, anything I already I've know seen. I'm going to cry. You'll cry. Every, I've cried every episode. Every. Because their characters in there are so fucking genuine. We're getting off topic. That's <laughs> how I feel about, well, no, not not the genuine part, but I cry every episode of Grey's Anatomy, but duh. But that's like, because there's death and shit I in know. there. I know. This is legitimately just like these characters. Are, you're just like. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Oh. I feel like it's going to, it's, I don't even know it, but it's giving me uh, the blind side vibes. I've never watched the blind side. You've never watched the blind side? No. no. I've never watched the blind side. I've seen what maybe like the first five minutes of it or something like Sandra that. Sandra Bullock. I know. Are you choking my ass? I'm not joking your ass. Wow. I'm not joking your ass. I have legitimately never watched The Blind Side. That movie is next level. It is so good. OMG. I feel like I have OMG. to be in a mood to watch it, though. You do not. Just put it on. It's a I make it, film. I make excuses for everything that I watch, to be honest. Like, we'll get high, and then we'll he'll list off things to watch. And I'm just like, mm, I'm just not in the mood to watch that. But it's like... Uh, what are you actually in the mood to okay, watch? Okay, actually, that is so funny you said that. So for the longest time, um, so I live with my boyfriend and both of our best friend, Jay. That's how we met, was through Jay. And Shout out, Jay. <laughs> shout out, Gerald. <laughs> His name's not even Gerald, it's Jerry. But we love Gerald. <laughs> um, he, oh, they, so we would sit, we always sit and eat dinner, like a little happy family, and we That's put on cute. a movie every night, almost. And I used to be so particular with what movies we would watch. They would want to put on like a Tom Cruise movie. And I would say, absolutely not. <laughs> I I have seen interviews of Tom Cruise. So to me, I was like, this is a big old weirdo. I don't want to watch a movie with Tom Cruise in it. And He's then, got some great movies. Oh, so that's okay. what they were like. Can you just open your horizons? Like give it a chance. It's put on a Tom Cruise movie. So I, I can't remember which one we put on, but we put one on. And I ended up loving it. So I, how, how do you know you loved it? You just said you can't remember what Tom Cruise movie it well, is. Well, to be fair, I can't remember like any movie names unless they're Disney. Um, okay. I No, I really am. I'm bad with remembering. Was it like an older movie? Yeah. Was it like Jerry Maguire? Okay. So our camera died. Oopsies. And. It's just us two doing this. Yeah. There's no one here. I mean, our boyfriends are literally right out there. They could like, be helping us, but we don't want them in here. I get too distracted. I'm too distracted. Um, they're too good looking. Truly. Facts. I'm pitting out. 
That's okay. That's me always. That's why I wear baggy t-shirts. I feel like I stink, but I don't know. Do I? No. You okay. know. Oh, you smell good. Oh, sheesh. Um, while I was running to go grab a battery for the camera, I found out that the Tom Cruise movie that I watched was, in fact, The Edge of Tomorrow, uh, Live, Die, Repeat. I think, like, I, Emily Blunt's in it or something. I don't know if I've seen that one. Is it Emily Blunt or, like... Mm, I don't know someone's in it or Olivia no I don't know someone's in it and it was pretty good and ever since then Jay and Scott were like see you gotta gotta just give give it a chance so every time they want to put a movie on that I don't want to watch I suck it up and I go okay let's try it and usually maybe I don't love all of the movies but I'm usually very okay I'm like oh that was interesting that was fun that was great that was whatever Cam usually lets me pick, but I get really upset when he lets me pick because I can't decide and then he picks and then I get upset that he picked a movie that I don't want to watch. So it's just like an endless cycle <laughs> of watching shit that we don't want to watch together. I've kind of got him hooked or we started watching the Gossip Girl and I thought for a second for the first three episodes, the new Gossip Girl was like decent, like watchable. Then it just is like crashing and burning and it's awful and I feel bad because Cam came to like watch the episodes I was watching. He goes, oh no, just I can't do this. start him on the new old one, I mean. I, I don't think I've even watch the fully uh, the old gossip girl yeah. i just wanted to watch this one because of evan mock <laughs> like if we're being quite frank that's what here. everyone's saying everyone's but just watching like, it but they evan just mock. like let him fall off the whole thing it's really st- it's really really a tragic train wreck really? of an, a show they did everything wrong i could be the writer of the show like i could tell you right now everything that i would have done differently they wasted an entire season on things and it's just like i feel like they're trying too hard to make it so in today's world with like the social media and like the it's lingo bad. and everything it's bad. it's bad also can you guys see I, I thought my boobs were small enough to not wear a bra but i feel like they're sagging and you can tell your boobs are not for anyone who's just listening not watching her boobs are not sagging okay they're sagging and my nips are out but nips out this is like for the one nips, reason always. you guys sh- if, if you're into nipples this is a reason to watch the podcast Everybody. i never wear a bra me neither Watch the podcast, but you can listen to it too. And I'll talk to you like this. I'm not wearing a bra right now. Oh God. Wow. So it's we're a not a drama channel. Here. We are an ASMR, ASMR sexy talk time channel. Channel. <laughs> yeah, we are. That's I all. would have no idea how to talk sexual. Like I could never be like a phone sex, sex phone, phone sex op- operator. operator. Yeah. I don't think I don't know are those I real anymore. I think they're still real. Well, I would not know how to do that if like, Scott was away and he called me and was like, can we talk sexy on the phone? I would have to have a script written out for me. Oh my God. I don't know if I could talk sexy either. I'm such an awkward turtle. Like I might come off as a badass and like, I know what I'm doing, but I'm so fucking awkward, but I own it. So I think that's why I get away with it. Yeah. Cause I don't find you awkward at all, but I know what you're saying. And like you own the awkwardness. Cause that I could like maybe see, but to me, you were just like unapologetically you same. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I agree. Thank you. I mean, I am. I am always unapologetically myself. Have but you ever seen that clip of an interview, an interviewer talking to Beyonce and she goes, so you are Beyonce and Beyonce goes, thank you. <laughs> you are Shanley. Thank you. <laughs> I am. No, you really are. Um, this tastes like shit. I'm drinking. I'm not saying the name because that's free promo, but I'm just letting you know this flavor is not good. It looks like chemicals in a cup. Also, world's greatest me mugs. These are, these were from Jay and Scott. Yeah, I think they were going to use it for their, everything we've done, I think they were going to use for their podcast, but we swooped in and stole it. We stole it. Priorities. Also, we, so we, yeah, we, we did one episode. We were just sitting on our bed, my bed, and I don't know. It didn't give us the professional vibes that we wanted to give off. It, and it wasn't even exactly, well, yes, the professional vibes were not there, Um But it was a little, it was like a rough draft for us. Yeah. Like we were excited about it afterwards. And then we saw it. Well, she saw it. I haven't watched it. She reviews it. I don't want to watch it if she says it's bad. I watched, I watched 10 minutes and I was like, I don't know if I want to put this out. Yeah. So just, you know, to preface everything, we tried this once. It didn't go to, didn't work in our favor, but you know, we really want to give you guys something that you're going to enjoy. And this might be a boring get to know us episode, but things are going up from here. Yeah. And then, then you don't need to learn about us anymore. You're just going to learn about us like through our experiences. Yeah. But we're really bad. To, uh, I was going to say we're really bad talking about ourselves, but you went on for quite a, some time. And I honestly love talking about myself. I think I'm 
Hilarious. I think I'm like the greatest thing since sliced bread. I- I'm so confident. <laughs> I, that's what I want all of you guys for all of you guys. There's I want you all to feel the confidence that Shan. There's legitimate. Is there's no reason for me to feel as confident as I do. But as long as you keep thinking that you are, then you'll walk around with that attitude. No. And I know that's cliche and everyone says it, but it's true though. It's so true. Uh, Cause I'm very confident too. And it really is just because I wake up every morning. I'm like, why wouldn't you be confident? Even if you wake up and you look at yourself in the morning. Uh, um, the morning? First of all, I am... Drunk. <laughs> wasted! No. Uh, I stutter a lot and scramble on my words because my thoughts are moving four billion miles per hour in my brain and it's just too fast to get it all out. So it comes mouth. out like mumbo jumbo sometimes. But what was I saying? I don't remember. You like to go on these little tangents, like just like your high school story. I didn't know what the fuck you were talking about Me. until like you wrapped it up. Me neither. That was like a, that was a memory that I had pushed out of my brain and then it came flying back um what confidence yeah confidence you wake up you look in the mirror if you don't like love you're not feeling how you look or whatever she's gonna be like no i'm me and that's fucking awesome i mean like it is awesome to be me i don't know about you guys (laughs) you guys should wake up in the morning look in the mirror and go fuck why am i not shanley yeah that's exactly what this whole point is that's why i'm putting my knees up here because i don't want you to see my titties first of all i've i just want to let you you guys know i don't know i was looking at myself in some of the pictures i took earlier and i was like oh my titties they're out and saggy and now i'm like you're i have a flat chest but they're sagging no in my mind oh my god see and this is a topic that we'll definitely cover body dysmorphia um currently she is experiencing it right now my titties are sagging oh i'm 31 years old my titties are sagging okay I'm going to punch her in the head. Well, don't do that. Cause then I probably <laughs> no, just to knock some sense into you. No. And you know me, I, my punch would be like, boop. Like a, it would make boop. like a little squeak like a little noise. Love tap. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's what that would be. My punch. <laughs> <laughs> or that's just cause there's nothing up in my brain. So my head just squishes. It makes a squ- I'm like a little dog toy. Your like brain cells wake up. They're like, "Whoa, what was that? What was that? Eh, go back to sleep. We don't need it." <laughs> yeah, that's that's exactly what's going on. Anyway, so Anyhow. let's get back on. How long have we been filming this? I don't know. I don't know. Time doesn't exist when you're having so much fun. When you're having a blast. When you're just living your best life with a microphone in your hand. On I I like doing this. I love Although doing this. Although initially I was a little shaky. I think because I'm drinking some energy drink. Yeah. Not saying the name because we're not giving free brand no, promo here. We get that sponsor. We get that sponsorship. We will say it all the time. <laughs> also, we had another plant. Uh, okay. If you're, again, just listening, we have a bunch of plants around us right now because I, I just thought that would bring the vibe together. Yeah. We felt, we felt the plant energy. Um, I got these really pretty daisies and they were wilted because they weren't by the sun. Gerber daisies. They're and now they're up standing and above. so straight. Yeah, they're f- dude. Plants are so dramatic. I put them right by the sun. Plants are the most dramatic. I own a, f- a rainforest in my apartment right now. She does. I have she over does. 30 plants in my apartment. 30. I, yeah. I take really good care of them. I think I have at least 30. I have them in all in the living room, all in the bedroom, in the bathroom, kitchen, cam's office i have a pretty good green thumb all of them are alive except one but that's because my dog trampled it okay Uh, and fiddle leaf uh plants are finicky (laughs) but anyway point of that story is that i know that a lot of plants are really dramatic because all of my plants will just like if they don't get wilt if they don't get water that day and i'm just like shut up and then like you give them water and all of a sudden like an hour later they're just like but like they get water all the time. I Not all the time because that's wrong. That's don't bad. know how to take care of plants at that's all. Okay. At I all. Know. I've never been successful. Maybe that's something you guys will learn on this podcast is how to take care of plants. Wait, what is I'm that? I'm a botanist. Botany. A botanist. Is that? Botany, I think, is plants. Oh. Herbology. I'm a herbologist. Did you guys know that we were scientists? Eh. No, well, not me. I don't even know if I referenced the correct ones, but here we are. Anyway, moving forward into this podcast, I think we should probably wrap it up. I think we've said enough about ourselves. Yeah, I think, I think that this is a good intro epi. It's going to be it's going to be an adventure. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a journey. Yeah, it's going to be a great journey, a long journey, hopefully. Yes. For the rest of our lives. This I don't have much it. I don't have much left to live. 
you know i'm 31 <laughs> she's 31 she's um, i am getting old if anybody wants to contribute or donate to, to her, my home fund like when you have to put me in a nursing home no her plastic um, surgery no um a gofundme for um a coffin for her oh. because she's going in one soon well what happens if i want to be cremated We'll get there when Fine. the time comes. But um, I would prefer you guys give me you and then dust it on my blunt and smoke you. That, that would, would be, be kind of cannibalism. That's weird. what it would be called. I didn't say that. That's cannibalism. I didn't say that. I, I also immediately know, regret and did not say that. Yeah, you're, you've said a few things uh, this whole time that have been a little inappropriate. Like cannibalism. What? take advantage of me oh but that, okay. but i know it's not supposed to be inappropriate but you said some things that you, you didn't have to mean take everything that, i say with a grain of salt yeah i i don't do that i don't take everything you're gonna say with a grain of salt i just take it all and i'm like that's fucked up that's inappropriate <laughs> that's really inappropriate. i don't mean it and i've said things before where i'll say it and scott will be like what and i'm like what and he's like do you know how that sounds not bad nothing like actually actually bad but just it could be misconstrued in a different way so i, I I'm don't gonna, worry i'm here to keep you in check oh watch yeah please do that's please. all that's all i'm here to do keep please. you in check and talk about myself <laughs> to keep you in check and to talk about myself we bring the conversation back to me every time <laughs> that's literally all this is gonna be is that's just perfect like, i love it you guys we have so much to talk about in the next episode yeah don't mind we're gonna have some set changes we're still working it on yeah we're working still on it and you know tweaking the set making it perfect for us yeah a representation of us yeah we're gonna we're gonna kill it though we're not gonna be like any other podcast that's exactly what every podcast says and if we are like podcasts we're gonna be like your favorite ones like all your favorite podcasts that's us yeah take, and better take take three of your favorite podcasts mix them together and that's us okay well <laughs> yes that's exactly <laughs> what it is and that is us we'll be back we'll be back and you guys better be ready because we're gonna come back with a vengeance in the next episode i have some shit i want to talk about she's ready to air out some laundry i've been biting my tongue this whole time minus a few little hints in this episode that i've made okay well i'm gonna go eat and uh pick up my dog and we definitely don't have an intro or a sign off yet but you know that'll that'll come with time so for now adios sayonara los uh, what's shit uh cacas oh i thought Las, we were le, i was saying little shits oh right. uh poquito cacas P poquito caca i don't know Is that poop maybe i thought we were gonna start saying goodbye in different languages but i think i probably only know one more after what, what did I, you say sayonara i don't know what is that? that's mine that's japanese sayonara is japanese sayonara is japanese all right we're not gonna go on to that okay. in case you guys didn't know i'm japanese but okay sayonara adios toodaloo toodaloo bye Eeeh. <laughs>